that's a great start to the evening. Uh, it's a great start <laughs> to the evening, indeed. Now, uh, Mr. President, I might just ask uh, Max if I could. Max, uh, wonderful to see you here in Bologna. So, your second consecutive world title. How different does this one feel to the last one? Uh, yeah, the emotions are very different, but I think anyway they are. They should be different because your whole life you aim for one particular goal, and that's become a, a world champion uh, for me in, in Formula One. Um, so yeah, the first one is always very emotional one, once you uh, you achieve it. Um, but yeah, this year has been very different. Um, I do think we were more competitive this year. And also, I think, more enjoyable with the way we were performing as a whole team. You know, we won the drivers and the constructors. We had a lot of victories as a team. Um, so I would say this one is better and more rewarding. But the, the first one will always be more emotional. 17 victories for the team, 15 for you, Max. At what stage in the year did you think to yourself, I got this? Uh, I think after Bahrain, um, yeah. <laughs> no, maybe not, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, when we put the car on the track in, the, in winter testing, I think um, it was a very competitive car, but it was a little bit overweight. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I would say the way we bounced back after, of course, a tough weekend in, uh, in Australia to then go to Imola, and uh, the weekend we had was just incredible. I knew that there was a lot of potential, but I also knew, of course, at that point, we still had a lot of um, ground to, to catch up on. But uh, yeah, the car since then has been continuously just being developed in the right way. And um, yeah, slowly the car was getting skinnier as well. So um, that was good. And yeah, we've had a lot of incredible weekends as a team since what? then. So difficult to say which exact moment, but after Imola, I, I was confident that we we still you know, had a, a good opportunity. And of the 15, can you pick one race that stands out? Spa. Just because of the, the weekend we had. Like we, we put the car on the track and everything was working perfectly. I barely touched the car and we were miles ahead of the others. Okay, and look, final one from me, Max. Stop Press, the Dutch Grand Prix has a contract extension until the end of 2025. Can we get your thoughts on that? Yeah, that's very good news. I mean. I, I love driving there as well. I love seeing the fans there. So, uh, of course, very happy that they extended. All right, look, many congratulations to you. I'm sure there'll be some questions from the floor in a minute. Checo, if I could just come to you next. Uh, third is your best finish in the World Championship. How would you sum up the season that's just gone? Yeah, it was certainly... Um, it started very difficult, you know, with, with the reliability that we had in the early on in the, in the beginning of the season. But I think... Later on, we were quite competitive. We were very consistent. Um, then we had a few bad races that put us a bit behind uh, Max, but we, we still managed to, to get some good points, good podiums, a um, few wins. And, um, and um, yeah, I think we got our season back on track uh, for the final eight or so races. So uh, it was an intense battle towards the end with, with Charles and Ferrari. And your second season with the team, just how much more comfortable did you feel this year compared to last year? Yeah, it was a lot better, you know. Um, getting into a new team is pretty intense, um, especially joining a, a new team during the, the COVID times made it a, a little bit more difficult getting to know everyone around, around me. Uh, it was tricky, but uh, I think certainly it was uh, a massive difference. And I, I, I can just feel, you know, that things are just getting better uh, this morning I had a, a good breakfast with all my engineers and, and uh, we, we, we could already feel that we are so much more prepared every year that we are together. So um, it's certainly things heading in the right direction. Full English breakfast or Mexican? We went full English. <laughs> in Milton Keynes, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Look, Checo, very well done to you. And Christine, if I could just uh, take, turn the microphone to you now. Um, this is the first time in nearly a decade that you've been at the FIA prize giving to collect the Constructors' Trophy for Red Bull Racing. How good does that feel? Yeah, look, I mean, it's very, very special. I mean, it's particularly, um, you know, the season that we've had, the, the statistics you just read out, um, you know, we've broken all our own records. I mean, these two guys have been truly amazing this year. I mean, particularly Max has had an outstanding 
season. And I think the effort that's gone in behind the scenes, the biggest regulation change in, in 40 years. Um, and, uh, you know, the whole team uh, in Milton Keynes just rose to that challenge magnificently. And, um, uh, you know, to have achieved those 17 race wings, two sprint race victories out of the three, five, one, two finishes, 759 points. I didn't realize how much we had to pay the FIA for the points. So I, Got the bill the other day. It was incredible. Um, so, how much you earn, uh, yes, it depends um, how much you get. Exactly. Um, so it's been been incredible. And so for the first time to pick up the trophy from uh, Mohammed, I I picked the first trophy up from Jean Todd. And so uh, uh, in his first year of the president, his presidency. So it's it's uh, it's fantastic to be picking the trophy up tonight from from our new president. And. Christian, Ferrari had a fast car this year. So what made the difference for you guys? Well, yeah, they had a, a, a fast car. I think they had a faster car than us in the early part of the season. And, um, you know, I think that, that we were able to stay in touch. And that was very, very important, particularly after... I mean, our, our championship was 21 races because we missed the first one uh, by having a double DNF. Um, but we had to stick with them. And for me, one of the cr crucial weekends was was Imola with the sprint race and then the, uh, the victory and, and to win both those, those races to achieve the one-two finish um, and to beat Ferrari on their home ground was, um, you know, I, I think psychologically a big thing for us as a team, potentially for them as well. And I think then as we developed the car and we improved the car and we lost a little bit of weight, or well, the car did, um, then, um, you know, the speed, the speed came. And uh, I, I mean, these guys have been just fantastic this year. Christian, you've dominated Formula One before uh, with Sebastian Vettel and Mark Webber. You've done it again now. Just how different is it to do it with Max and Checo? Well, it's a lot less stressful with these guys than, uh, than the previous two. But, I mean, again, as a pairing, as a team, they've been, they've been great. They've worked incredibly well together. Um, they've pushed the team hard. Um, and I think when you look at, for example, the amount of uh, accident damage we've had this year, it's been the lowest of any single team um, and it's been you know it's been truly a, a team effort I think it's the going that extra yard that makes makes the difference and whether it's been behind the scenes on the simulator whether it's in the composite department whether it's in research and development um, you know within the design departments across all of these different functions you know Formula One is the biggest team sport in the world and uh, you know some of the most competitive teams in the world out there so particularly after a nine-year period uh, to win that Constructors Trophy and defend the Drivers' Championship this year um, has been an incredible year for us. Certainly has been very impressive. Many congratulations. Let's open this to the floor. Yes, let's start with Luke. Uh, Luke Smith from Autosport. Uh, Christian, a question for you. Tom asked about Ferrari. We've seen Mattia Bonotto leave the team since uh, the end of the season. Um, could I get your reaction to that? Toto said that he, um, he lasted longer than he thought he would at Ferrari. Is that something you agree with? Were you surprised by the decision? Well, I think, you know, in all fairness to Mattia, he did a very good job in producing a very competitive car and engine um, for Ferrari, you know, certainly this year now. Obviously, they had their moments op operationally. So, uh, you know, he committed uh, a long period of his career and life to, to Ferrari. And I, I'm sure it must be very difficult for him um, to, you know, to leave that team after all of that time. So, uh, uh, of course, a huge pressure in that team because it's a national team, effectively, as well as, a, uh, as, 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 well as an OEM team. And I think that, um, you know, it will now be the sixth team principal that I will sit across the table from since I've been at Red Bull. And uh, obviously, you know, a lot of, lot of pressure on that job. Thank you, Luke. Yep, another one. Peter Rankin Racing in 365. Max, uh, two back-to-back -back championships. One was incredibly intense, as we know. The other one was a relative walk in the park. Which one, which one did you prefer and why? I, I mean, they're both very different, like I said before, but... Uh, I, I couldn't choose because the first one, like I said, was very emotional. And I, I, would, I would not want to swap that out for this year's, you know. And yeah, maybe if I add a third, then I can choose. But uh, let's see. <laughs> but no, it's been, um, yeah, this year has been really, really enjoyable. You know, last year was the first time that I was in a fight to win a, to win a title. So that was the first time you get that kind of experience. Um, but I cannot choose. Max, the, the battle last year was 
predominantly with Lewis Hamilton. Certainly at the start of this year, it was Charles Leclerc. How different are those two as rivals? Yeah, everyone is different in the way they, they battle, they race. Um, but that's the beautiful thing about the sport, because if everyone would be the same, I think it's pretty boring. Yes, you have a lot of good drivers, but if they all act exactly the same, it's not really exciting to, to watch. Um, so that's why I think we all have to appreciate you know, the enormous amount of talent we have in the world, and especially, of course, also in, in Formula One. Okay, thank you, Max. Do we have any more questions from the floor? Yeah, one more. Uh, Luke Smith, uh, Christian, another question for you. You talked about the stats and the records that have fallen this year with Max obviously being so dominant. Is there one part of Max's game this year that you've really seen take a big step forward? And Max, for you, do you think there's one part you can identify where you've taken a big leap forward? I think that, uh, you know, Max, after winning that first world championship last year, which was like a heavyweight bout from the first race to the last race, I, I, again, has just made another step forward as a as a driver he's driven with such maturity with such uh you know composure um this year and um you know he's delivered some massive wins under huge pressure and it's only when you look back at the season that and, and it's only as we've started to do that in this last week when you think back to some of the races like um saudi or miami or montreal or you know there's been some some massive moments there and likewise you know, with Checo, for example, in, in, in Singapore. So it's been, a, been an outstanding year. And I think, you know, Max is just, um, you know, we didn't have the quickest car at the beginning of the year. And, um, you, you know, he very much kept us in, in contention and, and just kept pushing and drived, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, phenomenal precision and pace. Um, and when there was an opportunity there to take, you know, he, he grabbed it with both hands. Um, well, <clears throat> I think as a driver, like, um, you learn from every single year, you get more experience and you look at what you can do better. I think, anyway, you know that when you have to fight for a title, you have to score points basically every race as much as you can. That's why, of course, in the beginning of the year, it was very tough, you know, to have these DNFs. But I knew from that point onwards, I could not afford any mistake from my side in case we would have a retirement for whatever reason. So you always try to be as clean as you can be and, and try to be as perfect as you can every single weekend. And that's what I try to demand for myself every time I, I jump into the car. Now, you guys are, are running, is it one car, two cars tomorrow through the, the streets of Milton Keynes? Yes, we are um, going to, to celebrate in the, in the hometown of the factory. And, uh, of course, there is strict speed limits, there's speed cameras. Um, so 30 miles an hour will be respected at all times um, as we run the cars through the middle of the town. And... Uh, I think there'll be a, be a great turnout. It's great for the factory. It's great for the fans of the team. Um, and uh, again, you know, for Red Bull to, to celebrate in what's been, you know, a historic year for us, particularly, you know, with the passing of, of Dietrich Mateschitz. And I think we should, you know, recognize his contribution to the sport. I mean, I'm sure we'll see across the different championships tonight in all, all categories, Red Bull cars that have been supported and backed. And, um, you know, I, I'd just like to pay tribute, you know, to him and what he's done not just for Formula One, but motorsport globally, and uh, um, you know, recognise you know his contribution to everything that we are and that we've managed to achieve. Okay, well, have a great time tomorrow, and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us this evening. We're, yes. we're not taking the fine tomorrow. These uh, fines are set in the roads. It's not the money is not going to the FIA. It's out. It's marketing. It's out the cab. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>